you know, as long as you, as soon as you spend time in a place and you start to really try to consider it, and you, you try to feel it, uh, it will start to speak to you in a way that you, you know, every site is unique and every person is unique, and and uh, and and it starts to um, it starts to get inside you, and it starts to tell you what what it demands. The site was so kind of disrupted when we got here. Like it wasn't like we were stepping into a pristine kind of untouched spot. This was like, it was a mess. I know, I mean, it was piles of, of shavings and, and uh, chips and stuff that they'd sprayed off into the woods <laughs> that were pretty significant eyesores and would, would uh, you know, it would take centuries for something to grow on it because it's so, uh, you know, acidic, right? Um, I mean, if you look at the old sawmill piles from, from uh, you know, 30 years ago, there's still, nothing still grows on there, right? Because it takes so much nitrogen to break it down. Here's this tree, 800 years old, but it was like it had been hacked out of there. And, and so we thought we'd take that place back. The more we worked on it, we just kind of, when it started to come and was good, the work was basically we were just listening. We were just kind of responding to the site, not being overly conceptual or kind of just Hatch, but just moving the stuff around with our hands. And... So we spent we spent I don't know a week in here uh, and removing the all the debris from up against the, the standing dead uh, cedar there, and rearranging the debris that came out of that pile and, and remake it back into something that would uh, that would speak to uh, you know some wholeness I guess and some uh... well just grace it's like just put yeah. some grace back to the tree and. You know, someone would come in and good, probably not thinking about it and good intentions somewhere and cut a piece out of it. And so we thought we'd use our good intentions just to kind of put it all back together again. Even these trees that have come down, it'll take, you know, three or 400 years for them to rot. But they form that next, uh, that next stage, the nurse trees that are, you know, their roots extended and stuff. I mean, it's, it's just a, a natural cycle and, and we wanted to try to, to disrupt that cycling as little as possible.